I was afraid of that. You saved my life. You guys, no longer homeless. Here are your keys. Is, excuse me. Is this the way to the food bank? Oh, uh, yes. You, you just keep walking, and when you get to the stop sign, you make a right, and it's down about a half a block. Okay. There, there. Mommy's gonna get us some milk and some baby food, okay? Thank you, sir. You better hurry, though. Sometimes they run out of food after lunchtime. Okay, thank you again. Hey, come on, honey. Hi. Hi. Were, were you able to find some food? Oh, yeah. I was able to feed my little princess here. They even gave us some milk and uh, formula to go. But by the time I got to sit down and eat for myself, everything was already gone. Oh, I was afraid of that. I'll try again tomorrow, I guess. You have to try to get there before noon. Okay. Thank you so much. Just, just one more question. If sure, you mind. sure. Do you know how to get to the homeless shelter from here? Yes. You just go down here and walk north, and when you get to the light, you make a left. Okay. Thank you so much. Oh, wait. Here, here. Take this. No, I, I couldn't. You know what? Here, here. Take it all. No, th th that's your money. I insist. It's not often that I get to help someone else, and you seem like such a nice lady, and your baby certainly needs it a lot more than I do. I, I don't know what to say. I, I, are you sure? I'm positive. There's a bodega down near the shelter. Buy some groceries with that money. I will. Thank you so much. You're an angel. Oh, now you're making me blush. Get out of here before I change my mind. Thank you. I'll, I'll see you around. I hope so. Take care. Here. I hope it helps. Oh, thank you, young man. I'm much obliged. Young man? <laughs> well, thank you. You know what? You deserve an extra one for that. Oh, bless you. <laughs> Hello? Hi, Cindy? Look, Cindy, I told you already, your client has to leave within 30 days. It's in the contract. Hey, watch out! That was close. Are you all right? I was, I didn't see the car coming. I was, I was on my phone and I wasn't looking. Are you, are you all right? I'm, I'm a bit shaken up, but thanks to you, I'm, you saved my life. I wouldn't, I didn't do anything anyone else wouldn't have done. <laughs> I'm not too sure about that. What's your name? Uh, Doug, you? Uh, uh, I'm Terrell. I'm Terrell. Good Look. to meet you. How, how can I repay you? You've already given me money. You don't have to pay me again. I gave you, I gave you two dollars. For the guy that saved my life, I'm pretty sure I could do better than that. Who, who was that you were talking on the phone with, your ex-wife? <laughs> no, this is a realtor. She was trying to uh, get her client out of a contract. Oh, you work in real estate, huh? Well, I own a few apartment buildings, so yes. Oh, really? Yeah, look, if you if you need a place to stay, I can arrange something for you. Really? Uh, yeah. Yeah, no, you know it's it's not for me. There's this young woman, and she's homeless, and she's got a little baby, and they need a place to stay. Huh. Well, I'm pretty sure that I uh, I could do something about that. You look. could you could do that. You're you're not joking, are you? No. Look, meet me at this address tomorrow morning, okay? And I'm not joking. Wow. Meet me 
at that place tomorrow morning, 10 a.m., okay? 10 o'clock, yeah, I'll be there. Okay. Wow. Doug, you're scaring me. What's this surprise you keep telling me about? Just a little further, come on. Here we are. What is this? What's going on? Hey, Terrell. My man, Doug. Right on time. This is the young lady I was telling you about. This is Malenka, and that's her baby daughter, Nina. Hello, Malenka. It's a pleasure to meet you and your daughter. Uh, hi. Can, can one of you tell me what's going on? Please, allow me. You see, yesterday, I was talking and walking on my phone, not paying attention, and I walked in the street in the path of a car. Well, Doug here, he pulled me out of the path of that car and he saved my life. <laughs> wow. Doug, is that true? Well, it's not, it's not really as heroic as he's making it out to be. Ah, uh, that's nonsense. Anyway, I asked him how I can repay him and, well, this was his wish. What was his wish? Look, I own this apartment building. And a couple of weeks ago, I had some tenants, they moved out. Well, the apartment's empty and it can use some new residents. Okay. This is your place now. What? Yeah, you and your daughter don't have to be homeless anymore. You can't, you can't be serious. I, I don't even have a job, and how will I pay rent? Or I don't even know if I even can afford it when I start working. <laughs> Look, don't worry about the rent for now. Once you get back on your feet, we can discuss all that later. That is so kind of you. Terrell, your generosity is really, really special. Oh, don't get all teary-eyed on me now, Doug. I'm not finished yet. What do you mean? Look, this apartment here on the bottom, it's a two bedroom. This is yours. You and your daughter, you can move in anytime you want. Do you see that door up there? Yeah. Well, that's a one bedroom apartment. That's yours. Are you, are you kidding? Are you, are you joking? <laughs> no, I am not. Like I said, you guys are no longer homeless. Here are your keys. Oh my God. <laughs> this, this is, this is amazing. But, but Terrell, I don't deserve this. Doug, what are you talking about? Everybody deserves a home. You've made me happier than I've ever been before. <laughs> Thank you. You know, my grandmother once told me something. She said, you haven't lived until you're able to do something for somebody who can't pay you back. So, why don't you check out your new home? 